Let's practice our integration methods with this simple integral. In this problem, we have x to the negative 2 on the top, x to the 3 on the bottom, and x to the negative 4 on the bottom. So the first thing that we're going to want to do here is just take all of those x's that are in the denominators and flip them up to the numerators. So that x to the 3 on the bottom is going to turn into x to the negative 3 up top. That x to the negative 4 on the bottom, that's going to turn into x to the positive 4 up top. So once we do that, then what we need to do is take that 5 and expand that into the brackets. And then we'll have three separate terms that we can integrate. The rule for integrating these is that whatever the power is for x, we're going to add 1 to that and then divide by the new power. So that x to the negative 2, that's going to turn into x to the negative 1 over negative 1. x to the negative 3 is going to turn into x to the negative 2 over negative 2 and x to the 4 is going to turn into x to the 5 over 5. This is an indefinite integral, so we need to add c to this, which is our constant. Now our last step is just to clean this up and simplify those fractions, and then we'll be left with our final answer.